needs uh, millions of homes in the near future. There are many challenges in terms of the housing sector, the construction methods, the duration it takes, and the material it's used. And a lot of talk on precast uh, construction these days. And how about a 3D modeler structure? We heard about Chota Chetan long time back. It was the first uh, Indian 3D movie. And uh, something on the same thing, now it's something happening in the construction se sector. And I have Mr. S.J. Vijayan from Home Mission India uh, Limited. Sir, what is this 3D technology used for construction of houses? Um, you referred to Chota Chetan. And uh, Chota Chetan is an animation. That's what you do. It is like what you call as a digital. But in the housing sector, you need to have a structure inside which you can live and feel safe and comfortable. And if that is what you need, you need to make the whole house at one go as something which you would love to live inside. That is what 3D is about. So why do we call it 3D? Because you can make the room as columns, four columns, and four beams on top and put a slab. Each one of them is a 2D element. You make multiple number of them, join them together to create the space inside or the 3D shape of this room. When you can make the whole room at one single pore of the concrete, take out the whole room at one go, then you have come to the level of 3D. So we call it 3D precast. That is the difference between other forms of construction where they make pieces, join them to make a room. 3D makes the room at one go. Okay. And a lot of precast companies are there in India as well as over the world. A lot of uh, uh, com uh, uh, construction has been done in a smaller structures like uh, uh, houses and all. But how different, how, how practical is home mission in terms of uh, uh, building lots of houses, uh, small villas to commercial buildings to apartments? How Home Mission is different from other precast or 3D construction companies? Um, essentially, in a couple of ways. One, when you talk about a precast plant, you're talking about a large factory manufacturing 100 columns, 200 beams, 10 wall panels, or 1,000 slabs. That's what you're talking about. But when you come to 3D, number one, the factory goes to the site. The concrete element is not manufactured and sent. The factory is sent to the site. So you don't transport concrete elements at all. You save the transportation. That is sustainability. That is saving of cost for the owner. One. Two, if you want one house, you can put one machine and manufacture the 10 rooms and take the machine back. Or you want 10,000 houses for PMAY, you don't put one mold, maybe you put 25 molds, maybe you put 50 molds in a location. We are talking about Andhra Pradesh. 15 lakh houses he has promised to deliver. So we go to different locations, in each location we put a certain number. In the same given time, we have delivered all those houses. So, at site production, erection, and also scalability, you want one house, you want 1,000 house, you want one lakh house. You can do with the 3D. That is the fundamental difference. Okay, in uh, simple terms, uh, PM was uh, mentioning about the Lego technology, right? As simple as that and uh, tell me more about that. You recently built uh, a huge apartment in less than 30 days. Just uh, explain uh, briefly about that, sir. Okay, so the one building which has got uh, ground plus four, five stories, 20 apartments, four stories, four apartments in each story was manufactured by us over a period of 33 days for Tata Housing near Bombay, actually next to the Tarapur Atomic Power Plant. That's what we manufactured. Now the latest one we have done is for the Goa New International Airport, where we built the entire aviation skill development center with the three-dimensional technology. Again, 27 modules make the training center, 27 days of production. That is how we achieved it. That's technology. And uh, the other question is Indians or anywhere else, uh, it's a durability and of course the Indians, the costing. So how do you address these two issues and of course technology is there, but Indians are always uh, cost conscious, right? How do you address these two issues, sir? The more than the cost, because it is a house, they are very keen that it should be safe, strong 
and possibly lasting for a couple of generations. That's what they look for and that's why they love concrete. Fortunately, in 3D also, we only use the proven ready mix concrete and steel which is proven across decades. So, strength is safety. Strength is, you know, confirmed, assured. When it comes to the cast, we did have a challenge when we brought the technology. Later, we started manufacturing the machines that make the house in India. Later, we started tying up with the different companies who supply the material, saying, let us not each one of us make an exorbitant profit and pay the intermediate channels. Let us come together as an ecosystem and offer it as a finished product. And those things, those inclination of everybody in the ecosystem, they contributed. That's how today we are able to compete with anyone who is offering conventional technology and say, I will give you a superior, stronger house, faster at the same price. Yeah. And uh, thank you, sir. And uh, uh, gone are the days where uh, we used to build houses for years. I took almost like more than a year to build a house. And here are building houses in a few days. Especially, it, it can be an independent house, a villa, or a commercial building or apartments in a few days' time. Thank you, Mr. Vijay, and speaking to Smart. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs>